I have eight o'clock on my end and we are live. So I want to thank everyone for joining us tonight and hopping on Facebook or Zoom. Um, so for those of you who don't know me, I am Heather Tebenhoff. I am the Director of Community Engagement for AIM at Melanoma. Um, and you know, I've shared before in this format and you know, it's been on our newsletter, but I did have a melanoma in situ removed myself a couple years ago. And I lost my grandfather to melanoma in 2019. And you know, I've been with AIM now for a couple of months and I really just have to say how grateful I am to be with this organization and everything that I've learned and meeting the patients and family, friends, medical professionals, everyone who's working beside us every day to help raise awareness and support for melanoma and the critical research that we are doing. And you know, in my role as the Director of Community Engagement, I hear from people all of the time, what can they do to help? How can they support mm -hmm. our research? How can they report or support what we're doing? And so tonight, what we decided to do is I have Alicia, our vice president here, who's going to share with us a little bit about what she does, her connection to melanoma as well, and how you can, or you and your family and friends can support us, especially during this time of giving. So I would love to introduce Alicia. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do with AIM. Fantastic. Hi, everyone. As Heather mentioned, I'm AIMS VP, and my role is wonderful. I get to work with so many parts of our organization, from managing one of our research projects to interacting with the donor community, and so much more. Um, my husband is a melanoma survivor, and during his treatment year, I was his caregiver. Um, and that was, um, that was hard, but it was also great because he's still with us, and um, it's about eight years later. Um, finding the cure for melanoma is personal for me, just as it is for, I'm guessing, all of you who are listening tonight. So thanks for having me, Heather. Thank you for being here. So let's start with that question that I get every day of if people are reaching out and saying, hey, I want to give back, I want to help AIM, what is one thing that they can do, especially right now, to help out our organization? Well, it's perfect timing. It's the end of the year. And um, I, I always say there's lots of ways to get involved and volunteer and things like that. And I'm sure you've talked about that with um, many of the people you work with. But at the end of the year here, um, we're asking people to donate if they can and be a part of our no-show gala and our auction. Um, our no-show gala was started a few years ago. Um, it's been a good fit during these COVID-affected years. We don't run a room. We don't make flower arrangements or hire a caterer, and our guests don't need a new dress, a babysitter, or a taxi. Um, this year, we added an online auction to the no-show gala, and again, you don't need to leave your desk to participate in an online auction. Um, and all the proceeds from this no-show gala and auction go to research. That's so important. So to answer your question, how can you help at the end of the year here? Um, I, I would say if you can give, please give. Um, and it, it, if you can share different things about what we're doing with people who might want to give, that also would be fantastic. That's awesome. So what I would love to kind of get at, Alicia, is when people donate, when people purchase maybe things from our auction, what is that going to support? Okay, I'm glad you asked. 100% um, of the funds go to research, to Ames Melanoma Tissue Bank Consortium. You've probably seen it on our website as IMTBC or MTBC, International Melanoma Tissue Bank Consortium or just Melanoma Tissue Bank Consortium. Okay, what is it? It's a first in the world of melanoma. It's the only collaborative, fresh frozen primary tissue bank that includes de-identified patient data and blood samples. Okay, well, what is that? Um, what doctors tell us, researchers tell us, is that the genetic code to understanding melanoma is in the primary. And it's really important to find primary melanomas that have been fresh frozen so that the RNA is intact. And so we've done this. We've put together uh, four sites in the United States and two in Australia that are working together and collecting tissues. Um, COVID has slowed collection a little, um, but we're beginning to ramp back up now that our sites are emerging from the difficulty of the virus. So that is what all the proceeds 
from the no show gala and auction go to 100%. There's no um, overhead to cover. That's awesome. I think that, you know, I hear from people all the time. And I know we've had this conversation as well of, can I can I donate my tissue? Like, what is what is the answer there? It's a great question. And I do I get a lot of emails about it. Um, the four sites in the US are spread uh, San Francisco, Portland, Chicago, and Pittsburgh. If you happen to be a patient at one of those and you have a primary melanoma removed, you will uh, most likely be asked to participate. But no, we can't at this time uh, grab tissues from, you know, let's say a city in Texas or Oklahoma because it's that fresh freezing that's so important. It's got to be fresh frozen immediately with liquid nitrogen. And the four sites we have and the two in Australia right now, we've outfitted with what they need and we hope to grow our tissue bank. Um, much more in the future. So I hope if someone asks that question in five years, I'll say, yes, here's where you can go in your state. Perfect. So if our goal is to help grow the tissue bank and help grow research, obviously we need funds to do that, right? And so that's a little bit about what we're talking about tonight. And specifically why I asked you here is to talk about this auction. That is the first time that we've done it. So I want to just spend a little bit of time um, talking about some of these items that have been donated and maybe their significance to our mission to skin cancer, to research. So what I'm going to do for everyone watching is I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And Alicia and I are going to kind of walk through some of these items. Um, this is this beautiful lookbook that Kathleen, our amazing marketing person, put together. So we're going to talk about some of these items. Um, but what I first want to kind of talk about here with you, Alicia, are these items that have a connection to melanoma from these donors. So specifically, I know of J.B. Ward out of Tennessee, who is a melanoma warrior and a survivor and a wonderful artist. Can you tell me a little bit about her donation and how that's going to help out in this auction? Yeah, yeah. and you took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, J.B. is a melanoma survivor, an extremely talented artist. She received a BA in studio art with an emphasis on 2D art, charcoal drawing and oil painting in both portrait and figures. She's donated a 16 by 20 custom charcoal piece to our auction. Her work is simply beautiful. I've seen both custom portraits of children and also of animals. And I believe in the chat, you'll see Heather will put in uh, different URLs so you can check out some of this stuff as well as the lookbook. Um, but go to JB's website, you'll be really impressed. I, I'll say this auction item would be a fantastic gift for a son or daughter, an adult son or daughter, or your children's grandparents um, or your spouse. Um, this is, um, is something that's unique and, and her talent um, is, is, is truly amazing. We're thrilled to have her as an AIM supporter, an AIM volunteer, and as a donor to our auction. Great. All right, so the next item from a um, supporter is from Holly Rowe. What can you tell us about ESPN's Holly Rowe? Yeah, if, um, if you're interested in sports, you'll undoubtedly know Holly Rowe. She's been with ESPN as a reporter and a commentator for 20 years. She covers everything from college football to college basketball to the WNBA and a lot in between. Um, she too is a melanoma survivor and, um, and she's, she's a warrior, she's an advocate, she's an amazing woman. Um, this auction item that she's donated is perfect for a number of types of people. Um, for example, if someone in your family, your daughter, your grandson is interested in sports broadcasting, meeting and getting to know Holly would be awesome for that person. She's generous with her time and knowledge. And I think maybe I should say real quick, this is a meet and greet as well as tickets to your choice of a college sport, um, football or basketball game. You got to work with her on what to go to. You pick what you would like from among what she can do, but truly she covers uh, a wide spectrum. So I think everyone will find something that they're sort of dying to go to. Um, somebody who loves college sports, well, this is obviously for you. She works many, many games. You know, I'm thinking if you've always wanted to go to the big house and see Michigan play or see an SEC game like Alabama versus Old Miss or maybe Duke basketball. Um, You'll work out with Holly which game she's staffing and can get you tickets to. Uh, she needs to get her schedule before she promises anything. That's why it's a little bit vague. But anybody who's a melanoma advocate as well would enjoy meeting a fellow melanoma advocate. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And, and again, we're so lucky to have her as an AIM supporter. So that's the Holly auction item. Awesome. 
All right, so we've talked about artwork. We've talked about a sports meet and greet. Yeah. So let's hear about One Hope Wine. What is the connection to melanoma here? Well, Gina Roller of One Hope Wine has donated a curated case of wine, which is fantastic and would be a great auction item on its own. But there's a story behind it. Gina lost her best friend, Carrie Lynn, to melanoma in 2018. And she gives back to AIM in memory of Carrie Lynn. So we're, we're thrilled, again, to have somebody on our team who, who knows the significance of melanoma and, um, and we're saddened um, about her loss, but we're thrilled that we get to be a part of how she uh, memorializes Carrie Lynn. Um, besides this fantastic item, she's given us a percentage of sales for a long time. Just a super generous person and, and the wine is fantastic. So even if you didn't care about any other parts of the story, the wine is fantastic. Wonderful. What a wonderful way to, you know, have a tribute to her friends. So that's lovely. And we're so thankful. Yeah. So next up, we have Cabana Life, who has been a great supporter of us. I know that um, for those of you who are involved in the walk program, they were also a sponsor there. So what is their connection to our research and our mission? Well, Melissa and um, Alyssa are the co-founders, and um, the story goes like this. They didn't start out in the fashion industry, um, but the magazine industry, and Melissa was given a melanoma diagnosis at 26. Like for many of you out there and your family members, it changes you. They started looking for stylish, sun protective clothing options, and they decided to create them instead, and that's how Cabana Life was born. Uh, they feature beautiful sun protective clothing for everyone in your family. Uh, males, females, children. They've donated a $100 gift certificate to our auction. And just like the others that I've already mentioned, they have been very generous with AIM already. Um, they offer a bag called the Live Bright Bag, and 100% of the proceeds go to AIM. So check out their website for two reasons. Please check out the Live Bright Bag, which is an ongoing uh, giving to AIM. And check out their website for just all of their clothing and we hope you'll bid on the gift certificate because that's the clothing you'll get to purchase with that gift certificate that's great yeah so the last item that i know that has a connection specifically to melanoma is this wonderful artwork from melanie brennan what can you tell me about her yeah melanie uh is an artist who just quite simply produces stunning pieces her very good friend marianne passed away earlier this year from nodular melanoma and Melanie painted 24 paintings for her friend, Marianne. And they were in a show earlier this year that she, she shows all over the country. And um, many of those paintings have already sold. Like these other generous donors that I've already talked about tonight, Melanie has already donated a percentage of pieces to AIM. And to this auction, she donated this painting. It's, you can see it in the lookbook there called You Are the Indigo in My Rainbow. Um, it's an astounding original piece for a lucky bidder. Um, I, that's all I can say. It's um, anyway, and, and thank you to all of these people who have a melanoma connection and who have been so generous to aim like Melanie. Yeah, I think that hearing these stories and that's something, you know, just to call back to what I was saying at the beginning, it's been so touching to me and I'm so grateful for the opportunity that AIM has to help raise, raise awareness about these lives that have been lost and those who have been impacted by melanoma. Um, so I'm really happy that this auction not only is gonna help raise critical funds, but help honor these individuals at the same time. Yeah. So Thank we've you. covered the connection to skin cancer, melanoma items. Are there any other items from the auction that you'd like to kind of highlight while I have you here? Yeah, I think I'd highlight two more. Um, one is Christy Grayson and it's Grayson Jewelry. And I think we entitled it Jewelry with a Purpose. Um, she makes beautiful jewelry. Uh, her pieces have been included in the Emmy Award bags and are sold at multiple locations um, around the US and uh, as well as her store in Southern California. I am pleased to tell you, and I can show you after we finish uh, with your screen share, I'm wearing one of Christie's pieces, uh, various pearl sizes and gold. I think it's beautiful. It was a custom piece that she and I designed together. That's how I, um, I got to know her and, and jewelry. Um, Christie's generously donated $400 worth of custom jewelry. You can work with her to design one piece or two, you know, depending on what you put together and, and the cost of that. You can get an idea on her website. Um, I know she's just started putting her website together, so it's certainly not um, complete yet. She, she has so many beautiful pieces. 
Um, but we'll make sure when we turn off the share screen that you guys um, uh, can see my necklace that I'm wearing. But they're simply beautiful, and that was one I wanted to highlight. Maybe the last one I would highlight is what we have title, entitled Original Framed Fine Art Print. I don't think that does it justice. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about Deanna Winsel, who's a pro professional photographer with a unique eye. Um, she specializes in what I would call aerial photography. I don't know if that's the correct term, but basically she hangs out of helicopters and takes photos. Um, her, her photos are stunning. Um, you'll see beaches in Hawaii, uh, beaches in Australia and Miami. And, and she's just got this amazing way of not just capturing um, often the natural beauty of a beach from above, but uh, patterns in um, chaise lounges or umbrellas or what have you. She also does ski slopes from above. And in the lookbook, you see she also has um, things like horses and other travel photos. I know um, there's some of Camoli, Italy and Greece. Um, and she's donated not only the original photographic print 28 by 40, but framed, which is just extremely generous. Um, so all of these websites, um, I think Heather is putting them in the, the chat so that you can go to them. The lookbook is there and that's going to be on our website. Um, it is on our website and you can look at that. But those are the pieces I would highlight. There's a lot of other ones at every price point, but can't highlight them all, I guess, in our in our talk tonight. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. So it'll, it'll be back to you and I. Um, and, you know, as Alicia mentioned, we have, I think, 15 total items. So we may have mentioned seven of them tonight. And there really is truly, I'd say, something for everyone and every price point. Uh, I think the this lowest value, I think, starts around $50 and it goes up from there. So if you're looking for a gift for yourself or um, something for the families, for the holidays, uh, some self care items. I feel like we have those as well. And we've been really big and some of our themes lately of caring for the caregiver. Um, so it really is a great opportunity, especially if you're already shopping um, to shop with a cause. And I think that's something that we've been talking about here. And so we will share again the links to the the lookbook and to the auction self our site itself. So how um, can people participate in the auction? When does it close? Can you share any specifics there with us, Alicia? Yeah, on Sunday and um, the items close uh, periodically through the afternoon. I think it's central time, but all that information is on um, the auction website. And, um, and so there's a couple more days and this opportunity for me to come on and talk with you, I hope will generate a lot of enthusiasm and excitement. As you said, it's shopping with a cause. It's a give and a get. Um, you know, a lot of times you make a donation and, and you get the feel good of helping research and things. And because of these generous donors, you can donate and get something remarkable and, and in so many cases spectacular and, and the jewelry and the art that we have. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly brag about my necklace. Oh, Sorry, yeah. my, my, my headphones are in the way. But um, again, it's gold and multiple types and sizes of pearls. So, um, yeah. Yeah, one other thing that I will point out about the auction website. So if you have your eye on something um, or if you place a bid, um, you can like it. There's a little heart and you'll be notified if it gets another bid. So you can keep an eye on some items if you're like, oh, I'm really interested in that family tree box. You know, there's a shadow box there that maybe would be a perfect gift for your mother or the wine you know you can kind of keep an eye on it but remember it does close on sunday so mm -hmm. you can go in check it out um we're hoping that the action kind of picks up sunday afternoon so keep an eye on those things i know that's kind of how auctions can go um, but you know i think at the end of the day what is important to us is that this auction is an opportunity to raise these funds to raise awareness so really what we're asking individuals who are watching tonight is to share it, right? Yeah. So the most important thing is that this gets in front of more people, gets more eyes on it, because maybe you're not interested in college sports and Holly Rowe, but you know your uncle would love that opportunity. Yeah. Um, so we'd love for you to share this uh, with your family, friends, anyone who could be interested, not only in the auction items themselves, but in what the mission is behind them. What is What are we raising money for in the research and how critical that is to ending melanoma in our lifetime? Yeah, if you can take the link, um, copy it into an email and send it to 10 or 20 friends and family members, that's incredible for us because 
one doesn't need to be a melanoma community member to bid on one of these items. And in fact, we, we'd like it to spread out across the country and, and get as many eyeballs on it as possible. So Alicia, we are also right now with AIM doing our season of gratitude for anyone who's following us on social media. You've been seeing maybe some of the pictures. Yeah. It is our gratitude gala. So I kind of wanted to wrap this up tonight to ask, um, what are you grateful for this season? I'm always grateful for my family and my husband's health. Um, I think I, every year, every day, every month, I, I say that to myself and, and it's true. And um, as you've already expressed, I'm my gratitude goes to the AIM uh, uh, community and the melanoma community who support us and the good work we're trying to do. So for everyone listening, thank you. Um, my gratitude to you. Wonderful. And I think I, you know, I want to share that same sentiment. I, what I started in, in July, I think, is so I've mm -hmm. been here about four or five months and I am so grateful for this community and for the opportunities to meet everyone and learn about your stories and your journeys and how the important work that we're doing is making an impact. You know, my grandfather did not have the same treatment available to him that stage four patients have now. So I love that I can kind of, in his honor, help further our mission so others can, you know, can benefit from that. So I want to thank everyone who joined us tonight and again, share the links, check out the auction and thank you so much, Alicia, for coming and chatting with me. Um, and anyone can reach out um, through social media or emailing either of us if you have questions about the auction or if you have questions about our research and the tissue bank, we're always happy to answer those as well. Our contact information is on the website. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, Alicia. Thank you, thanks everyone listening. Thank you. Have a great night, everyone.